Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very quick video about the vertical line test. So in the last video, I talked about the definition of an algebraic function. Sometimes, however, you're only given a graph and asked to find whether it's a function or not. That's where the vertical line test comes in. So the vertical line test is quite simple. You basically imagine a straight line going through your coordinate plane just like the one shown here. Your goal is to make sure that the graph touches the line exactly one time as you move it across. Last time, I used these four examples to find out whether they meet the requirements for an algebraic function. Today, I'm going to do the same thing except much faster using the vertical line test. So first up, we have y equals x squared. If y equals x squared was truly a function, then I would be able to take this vertical line shown here and move it at any point along the graph. And the graph would only intersect it one time. So this graph clearly meets that expectation because we can see that it only touches along these points where the graph exists. Now let's do the same for the other graphs. The graph of y squared equals x looks somewhat like this. Now we can see here that moving the vertical line along the graph results in the graph touching that line at two different points, one time right here and another time right here. At the same time, if we move the line all the way out here, we can see that it doesn't touch the graph at all, so that also doesn't meet the requirement for an algebraic function. Now let's move on to y equals 2. So this is what y equals 2 looks like, and as you can clearly see, the vertical line only touches it at one point. That point is specifically at whatever x-coordinate the vertical line is at, plus the y-coordinate of 2, because the vertical line intersects the horizontal line at a y-coordinate of 2. So clearly, y equals 2 meets the expectation for an algebraic function. Finally, let's move on to x equals 2. So this is what x equals 2 looks like. It's basically a vertical line going through the point to 0. Now, as you can see here, the vertical line doesn't touch x equals 2 at any point until it actually reaches to 0. And at that point, it touches it along all y values from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then once we go farther to the right, it's back to no intersection. So clearly, this doesn't meet the expectation of an algebraic function. So putting everything together, y equals x squared does pass the vertical line test, so it is a function. y squared equals x does not meet the expectations, so it's not. y equals 2 is once again a function because it passes the vertical line test, and x equals 2 doesn't pass so it's not a function. That's about it for this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.